Today we're going to look at the MED steel com rods. So Steve, what makes these so good? Okay, these are made for us by Arrow Precision, local company, been making crankshafts for many, many years. They're made from a forging, not from stock bar. So immediately the shape is there to start with. We've also extensively lightened these over the years. So basically now the actual slot in the H-beam is square cornered instead of radius, get rid of some of the weight. We've actually deepened this slot here to get rid of some weight. These conrods now, we feel, are the lightest you can buy. With the bolts, they weigh 420 grams, which is extremely light. Now, it's not just about the conrod that makes the assembly light. You've got to bear in mind that there are two other things that are integral with this conrod. Firstly, the big end. We only make these conrods to fit the Cooper S big end purely and simply because it's a smaller diameter, inch and five eighths, as opposed to the A plus, which is inch and three quarter. We did some sums yesterday just to give you an example of the weight difference. An inch and three quarter big end, that's inch and three quarter diameter, 26 mil wide, weighs in at 330 grams. A Cooper S big end, inch and five eight big end, 26 mil wide, is 290 grams. So you've instantly saved by using this conrod over an A plus conrod, 40 grams just in your actual internal steel big end there. We go a little bit further now, you'll find that a lot of steel conrods come with 13 16 little ends. This pin out of a standard 13 16 piston weighs in at 85 grams. This little 18mm pin that we use in our race pistons only weighs 55. So now you've saved 40 grams there, 30 grams there, 70 grams, times four con rods, 280 grams. Bear in mind the rod only weighs 420. You've saved over half the weight of a con rod set just by using Cooper's big ends, 18mm lightweight pins. These con rods again, like I say, they're made in the UK around the corner from us by Arrow Precision. They've got the MED logo on. They come with the fully floating bush. They're drilled for oil feed in the top. They come with genuine ARP 2000 bolts. Some of the overseas con rods, they may say ARP 2000 on the bolt head, but I can guarantee you some of them are not ARP bolts. Not only is the Conrad made as we've said, it's also got numerous identification marks on the flanks of the big end to tell you what the Conrad part number is, the year it was manufactured, the balancing data, and also the issue number. So if you ever have a problem with a rod, which we've never had yet, not due to rod failure, we can always identify when it was made for you. We can then identify the weight of it and then we could supply you one that will work with your match set. These con rods, obviously like we've just said, will only take the 18 millimeter pin. There's a bush already fitted to there that's pre-sized, so the pin is the right size to fully float in there. The pin then sits in the piston, held in with two wire circlips. These are for the forged pistons. We don't supply a die casting with 18 mil pins. The die castings all come with a larger pin, which we know you can buy a steel rod for, but we don't supply it and we don't recommend it any longer because when we were using these pins with steel rods, fitting the pins is easy, but when you try and withdraw the pin from a steel rod, the pin and rod are not of compatible material, and what it actually does, it tears the inside of the bore of the conrod, and you can imagine then, you've got a set of conrods that are not really a lot of use for anything. We know these are one of the most expensive rods out there on the market, but we feel they are one of the best, if not the best. Made locally, from certified steel, with genuine bolts. If you don't want to put something really top quality into your engine, 
and obviously working on a budget, instead of buying something that is of spurious quality, I would suggest getting yourself a set of standard Rover Conrods, light and polish, new ARP bolts, you won't have a problem with them. We used to use them all the while in the race engines back in the 1980s, so there we go. Just really depends on how much you want to spend.